So there are a number of anti-cancer drugs that are targeting the blood vessels. And the idea is to starve the, blood, the tumor from nutrition and from oxygen. And you do that by inhibiting the growth of blood vessels, by inhibiting angiogenesis. Now, most of the drugs currently available in the clinic are focused, are targeted on one specific uh, protein. It's called VGF. And what we have now discovered is that an antibody against another growth factor, PLGF, has actually complementary mechanisms and can be combined together with VGF inhibitors to treat cancer. Scientists have discovered that this process can be blocked by the administration of a small molecule called anti-PLGF antibody. The antibody binds to the PLGF growth factor, thereby preventing it from associating with the capillary vessel. This effectively blocks the expansion of the capillary network, and tumor growth is slowed because of limited blood supply. Because of the strong positive effect of the anti-PLGF antibodies, the cancer-killing cells of the immune system can now work faster than the rate of cancer cell division, resulting in a marked reduction in tumor size. We can think about two new opportunities. The first one would be that we combine it in addition to existing uh, anti-angiogenic agents such as VGF inhibitors and we can increase the efficacy without increasing aggravating the toxicity. And the second uh, opportunity is that we now can start to think about administering anti-PLGF for or to patients whom could not receive actually VGF inhibitors such as pregnant women with cancer or children with cancer or patients with too many side effects. So what Sonia is doing now is injecting the antibody against PLGF in mice that in which she transplanted some tumor cells, some leukemic cells, so that we can analyze then what the effect is really on the, uh, for the treatment of, of these uh, cancers in the mice. En als ik het kan laten keren naar een chronische ziekte in plaats van een terminale, en ik weet dat de wetenschap ondertussen verder gaat, dan heb ik op termijn kans om zij het in een andere studie deel te nemen aan een medicijn die uiteindelijk mijn genezing kan uh, bekomen. En daar, uh, daar kijk ik toch naar uit. Ja. Euh, ici, les résultats de Carmelite sont vraiment euh, très positifs, très en, emballants, mais je pense qu'il ne faut pas croire encore au traitement miracle. Euh, le, le phénomène de médicaments anti-angiogénèse, l'anti-PIGF que Carmelite est en train de, de, de tester actuellement dans son labo viennent de montrer de très beaux résultats, mais c'est encore des résultats euh, menés chez l'animal. Donc on n'en est pas encore au stade humain. Les essais cliniques, je pense, vont démarrer à la fin de cette année.